So what did you think of the movie? It's getting to that point. Which what's, point? What's your initial reactions? There was lots of points. Lots of points? Lots of points. Well, Point, and? Yeah, yeah, several points. Definitely lots of points. Well, let's start with one. <laughs> let's start with one. Oh. It's very long. It is a long movie. It's very long. It's, it's very long. It's very slow paced. Well, yeah. yeah, but the first one was slow paced. It was. So that's just keeping in, tra- in tradition of the old. It, it is. I'm not so sure it's keeping in tradition. It was just they, they had to draw it out. It was epic. It was. You know what it was? I think it fell short of epic, okay? Uh, they were going for the Stanley Kubrick thing going on there. Yeah, they, they missed. <laughs> they missed. It wasn't that bad. I mean, it was decent. No, it was a good film. It just. I was I was entertained by it. I liked it. Not. Uh, yeah. it, they could have cut about forty five minutes off of it. Yeah. Easily. Yes, very much so. <laughs> like, there's a whole chunk in the middle that could have just been. There, there's a lot of pauses. Like, yeah. have you? Did you ever? <laughs> I mean, did you notice? Like, Ryan Gosling pauses a lot. Well, he doesn't say a whole lot. Most and of the time, it's just like reaction shit. A lot. It's, he, he's trying to do the epic Mark Hamill stare at the camera. That's what. I could see that. It's kind of like this. <laughs> I don't know. About halfway through, I was wondering if we were ever going to see Harrison Ford, though. Yeah. It. it <clears throat> well, you know, he had a flying on his chopper. Was, oh, yeah. You, you know, know. Mr. Ford has arrived. Yeah. You know, I mean. How did they have with it? You think they, uh, like, had a fedora waiting for him? Oh, man. I wish. I hope they did. That would have been fantastic. What did you think of the characters? I liked them. I liked Ryan Gosling's character. As, uh, he, he was cool. K. I think I liked him better as K than I did as Joe. Isn't that the same person? No, because no. he... he <laughs> no. So, okay, that's like saying Batman and Bruce Wayne are the same person. That's true. But They're they not. Are the same they are the No. No, they no. have two different personalities. No. You should know this. You're a big Batman fan. I, I get that, but it's still the same person. It is not. Mm. It's not the same. Two identities. Bruce Banner and Hulk. Okay, I can see that a little bit more. Little guy, big guy. <laughs> no, no. no. Some completely different. <laughs> this just in. Zuko has gone. Bye-bye. <laughs> what did you think about Harrison Ford re- Reenacting his uh, original character. I liked it. Th- yeah, that one's on the head. That one's ding. Mm-hmm. I mean, really. Now the one thing is the what is it? The replicant chick, you know, from uh, Wal- what was it? Wallace. Yes. It wasn't the Tyrell Corporation anymore. It was Wallace. 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 Yeah. Wallace. Her name is Love. Yeah, that chick. Yeah. I just wanted to see that woman die. She wouldn't go away. <laughs> no, she's almost like a Terminator <laughs> yes. in a lot of ways. Yes. Like, she, she would she not... Is. Like, she could do anything is it and everything. terrible that I was hoping she was going to kill Kay? I mean, I... No, I wanted to see Kay mm-hmm. kill her because I was tired of her. I wanted to I go wanted away. to watch her kill Kay and Harrison Ford, to, you know, dramatically murder her in some way. Yeah, but he see, he's the old dude. You know, you gotta yeah. give the new actor some. Yeah, I some, know, I get that. Gotta give yeah, him yeah. some love. I don't know. I would have, I would have allowed Harrison Ford to do it. I mean, just like twist her neck or something. Hey, at least Harrison Ford didn't end up with a lightsaber through his chest. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Right. I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> Right. Too soon. Too soon. Too, yeah. You see too the soon. vein popping up Tim's forehead right too, there. Look at that. Too, too soon. Oh, that's, mm, that still hurts. Yeah, yeah. It's not right. It hurts the chest. <clears throat> How's it compared to the original? Hmm. Great I question. Think they're fairly parallel. Yeah, the visual styles are about the same. Visual. Sound. I mean, the entire soundtrack. It, it, yeah, the sounds soundtrack same. sounds just like the original. The soundtrack was pretty damn epic. Yes. 
the sound quality. <laughs> it was loud. Mm. Very loud. Uh, Downrange? I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, at one point, <clears throat> I, the back of my chair was vibrating. It was vibrating. I could feel the bass in my seat. Yeah. 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 I thought yeah. there was a mini hurt, uh, earthquake going on. Like it was one of those interactive movies. Yes. Like, you know, <laughs> down at Disney World where yep. they got the air that blows on you and shit. Don't look at me. I didn't have gas. <laughs> well, good thing. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> um, yeah, I think they mirror one another. I think it's pretty close. Yeah. So. It's definitely a really, really good sequel. You know what I really like? I don't know if you noticed this, but the part in, uh, what was it, in Vegas where they're in the casino and they're running to the the uh, Harrison Ford's uh, car. That's the same damn car that was in the original. They got blown up. Yeah. It was the same flying car. Nice little Easter egg. It is. That and Harrison Ford had the same gun. Yeah. Which, I would is, which is nothing more than like a forty four revolver decked out, but I still dig it. <laughs> they do pay a little bit. Uh-uh. We watched all of that. And that was the two things you paid the most attention to. Hey, I'm a sci-fi nerd. Those things mm. stu- stood out. We're at me. all sci-fi <laughs> nerds. I like props. Out of all of... I like props. <laughs> props are cool. But soundtrack was cool, the, too. The new, Blade Runner, the, the new Blade Runner puts a replicant through a wall. Yes, that is cool. That is very cool. And you're worried about props. <laughs> <laughs> I was happy when I saw the gun. I was. I even said it in the theater. I'm like, it's a gun. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, I shall have that prop. Maybe. I can see that. Yeah. It'll be the next thing that goes on a shelf. Add it to the arsenal over there. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Or over there. <laughs> what did you think of the flower? The flower? The, the little, little marigold. Dan- yeah. The little dandelion that was by the dead tree. I don't know. I really didn't have much on Two it. questions right. that I have. One, who do you think left it? Right. Two, where the hell did they grow it? True. Because there was no greenhouse we seen. No. He had a drone taking pictures. Right. Spoiler Everything was alert. dead. Oh, this whole review is spoilers. <laughs> yeah. They'll be on the actual thumbnail. I always double check. No, no. This is spoilers. Who do I think left that flower? Who do you think left the flower? Do you think it was Batista's character? The I'd say it was Batista. I think so. I think he had more of a... Obviously a connection because he's the one who brought the child into... He was the protector. Yeah. At least that's world. what I got out of it. Yeah, he was the guardian. Yeah. He uh, may have actually been the delivery doctor. Well, so what they, well hinted that, at, that's, they hinted at that because but they of the never scars. actually tell you for sure one way or the other. It's all cloak and dagger. So, is Harrison Ford a replicant? No, I think he's human. It's definitely a replicant. It's still going with human. And the decision is still torn. <laughs> still throwing that out there. He punches the new Blade Runner eight times. Eight times. Right. Doesn't break his hand. True. Okay, he's, he gets hit by the new Blade Runner at least twice that we saw. Right. Okay. Then they take a massive explosion. Right. Gets up without a scratch. True. He's not even hurt. He didn't take the brunt of that explosion, though. Yeah. And, and uh, Ryan Gossett uh, ran right through the wall. Right. That moment. This is true. Yeah. No, none of this... Hint said he maybe he'd be a replicant. Not, 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 maybe not. he's just really big, you know, a badass. Maybe he's just a badass, tough old man. Yeah, you know, you, know, you never know. <laughs> just, just saying. Replicant. You know, there is a theory about this movie. Yeah, what? That they tie this into aliens. Ugh. Yep, yep, yep. Think about it: replicants, skin jobs, replicants, and aliens. You know, Tyrell Corporation, Tyrell Corporation. You know, it all goes together. 
Oh, I, I didn't really, make the theory. I just read it. I really hope that's not the case. I... <laughs> that's just awful. If this wasn't radio, the look on Tim's face is hilarious right now. Excuse me <laughs> while I lose my lunch. <laughs> 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 I didn't make up the theory. I'm just reporting it. <laughs> I, I'm well aware of that. Alien has died, and it's been buried and resurrected, and then died again. <laughs> no, it's about to be resurrected it again. It now has the same face as Pumpkinhead. <laughs> oh, snap. Damn. Alien was okay, and then they decided they wanted to beat it with an ugly stick. What was your whole thoughts on the plot? I thought it was good. I really did. It was full of intrigue. A little too much drama. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, the original was... I didn't ma- mind the drama. Actually, this one was a little bit easier to follow than the original. Depends on which original you watch, though. As as you've pointed out now, twice. Yeah. There's like three of them. We got it. Trey. We, <laughs> we got it. How many versions of the original Blade Runner? You got the original. You got the original with the narration by Harrison Ford. Right. Then which you got... actually they didn't want, or the Ridley Scott didn't want the narration because he didn't like it, but the studio insisted upon it because it was hard to follow the movie without it. Good point. Then they created the director's cut, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And then recently, well not very, very recently, but fairly recently, they did the final cut. And I'm sure there's some other versions in there, too. I mean, it's almost as bad as Star Wars, how many times Ridley Scott redid this movie. Wow. Yeah. So we have three different versions of the movie. At least three. Now, I watched the final version before I watched this movie, and yeah, that one wasn't too bad. I'm just silently shaking my head. I can't... Mm. Oh. What, all the versions? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just Some people just can't let it go. They gotta keep going back and redoing it. Mm. I will say this movie was much easier Check, please, to follow. One. Much easier to follow. Well, yeah, it was a very simple plot. I mean, it was find the child yeah. of this replicant that gave Rachel. birth. Mm. Rachel from the original. Yeah, Rachel yes. from the original. Which, by the way, Rachel from the original at the very end, that was creepy. That was extremely <laughs> creepy. Because yes. she looked okay, just that was... like her. <laughs> Sans uh, yes. Tarkin, okay, that was. But was that CG or was that an actual actress that just looked like her? That's what I want to know. I don't know. Uh... Because it didn't strike me as CG like Princess Leia in Rogue One. Rogue, mm. Rogue One, you, she turned around. And you could tell that was CG. So in that scene, though, they have it to where there's a lot of dark shadows could yes, play a there's effect. There's definitely a lot of contrast in that. So. Yeah. It could be kind of like Tarkin's face, where they had an actor or an, uh, an actress that looked just close enough to where there wasn't a whole lot of CG that they needed to do. Right. It could have been that case, but it was freaky. It was freaky. How they did have a lot of shots from the her back, like over the shoulder kind of shots. Yes. So you didn't see her face a whole lot. No, but when she's walking towards Harrison Ford, like. You knew who she was oh, yeah. <laughs> as soon as they did the, the unveiling. I was like, oh, that's Rachel. Oh. 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 Think, oh. Hey, all I got to say is after that scene, thanks God, thank God we didn't have any 30 seconds from Mars music in this song. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Okay. Oh, my. Chair Leto's character, Wallace. Yeah. So. Anybody else find those little buzzing things kind of creepy so he's supposed to be blind everything about him is creepy he's like he's very if jesus creepy. was a pedophile i don't know it's well he he ah <laughs> and that would be the sound right oh. he's blind from what i understand yes he is blind obviously he's and, and clearly clearly blind so the creepiest part is when they unveil a new replicant just like drop it out of a bag, right? Yeah, Make it as Jaybird. It's still got the goo <laughs> still covered in axle grease. Yep. Yes, and it then, was covered in axle or grease, or Vagisil, or he, Vaseline, or whatever they used. He pulls up a chair and starts 
touching it and feeling it, feeling it's well, it feeling it's her out, face. Uh, and he gets out of the chair. He gets out, he gets out, out, out of the he chair does get out to the rub chair. the goo off of it. That's true. Just so he can sniff his hand. It's a little creepy. Which is a very creepy. creepy. But then a lot of creepy. After he feels it up, he just takes a knife and just goes, cuts open well, the, the stomach. The whole yeah. scene is so that you remember that they don't count these as actual. I know. Beans. Yeah. I know. They're disposable people. But it's still, it's. It's also supposed to convey to you his frustration with not being able to conquer the womb of the replicant. Yeah. yeah. It's disturbing. He's, he's just not good at that part. No, because. Maybe it's just he's not good with women. <laughs> that could be it, too. I mean, you see his friend, the bitch. Love. <laughs> yeah. Love. Her I'm name sorry. is Love. Love. God. Love is his slave. <laughs> I hate that woman. <laughs> like, that was the one character I did not like. You may not really? have liked her, but she was pretty badass. As she a was badass, saying, but she was the definitely. The whole crushing the glass in her hand, you were such yes. a tiny thing. Yes. Yes, okay. I almost had wood. I'm just saying. She was a bad guy, but oh, yeah. she was a bad guy that really made you hate her. And I guess she did her and, job and then, well. <laughs> and then bouncing the, the chief's head off of the desk like she was nothing. Uh, yeah, but you forget the part where she picked the head up to have her scan it well, and yes. then dropped it on the desk <clears throat> and then bam. That was it's, f- it's the duality of worlds that I dig. Yeah. I like the flying cars. I'm still waiting on my flying car. Right? What the hell? Okay, Spacely Sprocket needs to get his fat ass in gear so I can have my folding flying car. Right? Yeah, we should be having flying cars right now. Okay. Or they should have never showed me this cartoon. Ever. (laughs) I I was happy to see James Olmos. I was all... That was so cool. And he even folded little... Uh, that was funny. Yeah. Him doing origami. Yeah, yeah. He did that little, was well, that he did, was epic. He did okay. that in the original one. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, he did That's all the little... The whole point. Little matchstick yes. men stuff. That Sometimes awesome. Zuko gets lost in his own yes. thoughts. I mean, very much right so. It's all Zuko all the time. <laughs> There's a lot going on in here. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> or very little. <laughs> Depends hey, on what time of day it is. This is very true. <laughs> <laughs> There's sometimes a hmm, hmm. Uh, yes. <laughs> Moving on. Next topic. <laughs> I will give you a topic. You know what? The fifty foot. Oh name my! Woman. Yes. Oh my! She was cold. She, <laughs> she was, was very cold. Exceptionally cold. <laughs> they all were. And if she would have got any closer to the bridge, it may have collapsed. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes. So puck. Blade Runner 2049, how many stars would you give it? I'd give it four stars. Four stars out of yep. five? Four stars out of five. Tim? I enjoyed it. Mm. Ooh. Let's see here. Story was good. Check. Action was in there, but it also had intrigue. Check. Plot was consistent, stayed with the actual telling of the story. Had a nice little twist in there, too. It's, this is true. Uh, characters were unique oh. and had good backstory. Well, some of them were already there. Right. I'm going to go five. Wow. Even with the loud audio Even track? Even with the loud, I mean, it's got everything's got to be loud nowadays because people don't listen. This is very, very, very And very everyone's true. pretty much dead And the now. music score was... The soundtrack is awesome. The soundtrack was phenomenal. I'm going to go five. I'm go five. I liked it. I got to go five, too. Damn. Sorry, you got to be odd man out. Fuck you. <laughs> I was being nice just to say four and did go all five. No, I gotta go five. This is like one of the... This, I, this is the one movie I've enjoyed more than like any other since Guardians of the Galaxy Part 2. Seriously? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He gets a hard-on for the, the disney version of Star-Lord. I like Guardians of the Galaxy. So do Ooh. I. <laughs> Definitely a disney version of Star-Lord. Right. Actually, it's more of a new version of Farscape, but we'll, we'll, that's an, another podcast. Yeah, that is another podcast. <laughs> but the, the Star-Lord you like out of Star-Lord. Guardians of the Galaxy is 
Not the Star Lord. From well, the I know it's not books. the one from the comic books, but it's still a fun movie. It is a fun movie. It is a, 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 <laughs> we're not reviewing that movie. movie, though. No, we're not. So I got to go five on this one. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs>